box. Okay, I guess I take, make a check on the king with queen a4, maybe knight b5. Uh-oh, rookie, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. I think it was close a lot. Uh, oh, queen c4 maybe was better. Yeah. Yep. Or what happened but but yeah bartholomew should have been a gm i i don't know why i don't know why he didn't get to gm because he was he i mean he should have been gm he had all the he had all the qualities he had the openings i mean he had great understanding across the board i i don't know why it didn't happen um I'm go 94 and bishop g5 check let's take and take the bishop Seems unnecessarily harsh when most everyone is rooting for Levy. Um, there's something called reality, you guys. And like I said, Ben and Daniel said it already. I, I mean, I'm not the first person to say this. Um, I mean, ben, ben and Daniel already said it. Like, it's not, it's not about like, it's, this, this isn't like, I'm giving an honest opinion. If you don't like the opinion, that's fine. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's, re, it, it's, it's reality. Like, you know, it, it's like, you, you know, I'll, I'll give you another take. If, so, if someone tells me that I'm be, you know, that I, I'm going to become world champion. Yeah, I mean, there, there's some chance it could happen. Is it very realistic? No, it's not very realistic. Um, could it happen? Sure, but it's not realistic. And I'm not going to go around saying that I, that I think I have a legitimate shot at becoming world champion when it's not it, realistically, it's not not likely. Um, let's go. Uh, let's just take and go queen d4. So, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, you guys can get mad at me all you want, but it doesn't matter whether I'm talking about myself or others. I'm just giving you an honest opinion. Um, yeah, I mean, you guys are acting like, you know, like like you know i've spent my entire life in the chess world like i've i've gone through the whole whole process from start to finish you know becoming going from zero to becoming master international master gm top level player like playing the candidates even like i mean i know better than you guys what what is realistic and what isn't and if you don't like it that's fine but uh, i'm gonna give you the honest opinion even if it's not what you want to hear um let's just go knight f6 and take the pawn on b2 you need to pre press one for her uh something thank you for the foremost they hit man and for the 11 let's go rookie eight i'm playing ig4 here let's hit the knight hit the hit the rook here yeah i mean it's i'm just saying like you know I, i'll give you an example you guys should totally you guys should totally be all over me if i if i if i for example if i suddenly start lying i'm like i start saying i think i like i think i can really become world champion like in two years yes there's some chance i could win the grand swiss qualifier for the candidates it definitely could happen but it's not it's not very realistic um that even if i win, win the grand swiss that i'm gonna win the candidates and then beat magnus like but i'm not gonna pretend that like that's that's what's gonna happen because i'm gonna be honest about it i'm gonna give an honest opinion let's take go bishop c4 queen e2 knight f3 go here queen two would i give a stream if i qualify as a cast no i'm not giving up streaming absolutely not let's play c3 and d4 here play d4 and castles uh, i can play bishop d3 bishop f4 i can also play knight e5 and f4 next move if i take with the pawn at bishop d3 i have c4 next move i can also go like f4 at some point i guess i'll just trade the pawns here um let's go bishop g5 rook d1 rook e1 the rookie one bishop c4 but i will say this like a lot of people just don't understand the chess it's, it's not a lot of people who simply because they don't have the same experience they don't understand that it's it's not as simple as just studying and you'll get to gm like it that's just not how it works and i mean it's it's very hard to explain that because because a lot of people just assume that it's like you're, you're trying to put someone down when you're just explaining what the reality is But isn't it like mentally you, you already lost before before even qualifying the event no uh that's not to say, no I, I, I what i would say is that at a certain point or a certain level the way the way that you the, the way at least that i approach it is very much i'm going into it i, I fully expect to win the event i'm gonna try to play my best um maybe it happens maybe it doesn't it's an open tournament though so it is somewhat out of my control in terms of what happens um but i'm gonna go i'm gonna do my best and if it's, it's meant to me it's meant to be but i'm just gonna go in and play good chess and um and then see you know what happens that's what I would say. It's not giving up though at all. It's just I focus on the individual tournament. I'm just saying that if I look at it objectively as a whole, it's fairly unlikely. But that doesn't mean that it can't happen.
Okay, let's keep going. Oh, let's go e5 and d6. Yeah, someone used a great example. Even Magnus does not have more than 25%. Uh-oh, that's checkmate. Uh-oh. Keep going. The uh, Arena Kings is on Wednesday, you guys. Uh, so we have Title Tuesday tomorrow. We have Arena Kings on Wednesday. Uh, those are our upcoming events for the week. Also, I will add something else, you guys, which which is important. So I'll add another reason that I don't think Levy can become a, can become a GM, and that's because when I when I look at Levy's games against higher rated players, uh, very specifically, he's always struggling, and it feels like he's groveling to make a draw. He's never outright trying to beat them. And if he wants to be, if he's trying to become a GM, he has to he has to basically be very aggressive, and not be not be what I would say afraid of GMs. Whereas most of his games where I see him playing higher rated players, he's very much trying to reach an end game, and he's trying to just just hang on and make a draw. Um, and that's the single biggest, that's the single biggest thing is that most of the time, like this game in this tournament watching, I saw a couple of his games and the game that he lost against Robbie, Robbie, he lost against the Armenian, was it Armenian or Georgian guy, Robbie Kevlesh, uh, Kevlesh Vili or something. Um, when, when you look at that game, he was, just, he was just, he was just worse in trying to hang on in an end game. Um, and for example, let me use another, let me use a better example. Look at, let's take a look at, at Daniel in the U S championship. Daniel's played against Fabiano, all the top dogs. You'll see Daniel. He's going to lose. He's lost quite a few games, but Dan is willing to take his shot and go after these guys. He's not trying to, you know, he's not trying to just get a draw. He's going after the guys. And that is really, really important that you do that. Um, at, no matter what the level is, this castle here you can play knight g4 here to hit the pawn at f2. So, so that's that's the point. It's like when I see those games, because uh, uh, if you want to become a GM, there are going to be moments where you're playing as GMs and you're going to have to beat them. You're going to have to beat the GMs to get get the title. And um, and I don't see that. I feel like most of the games I see of Levy's, he's very very oftentimes very slightly worse in an end game, and he's trying to hang on for the draw. Um, so let's play E4 here. I can play Rook D8 next move. Or to give you another example, look at let, look at look at Min Lei or look at look at a uh, Criari two IMs. I guess Kriari just became a GM, but look at Minlay. Minlay is only an IM, but Minlay has no fear. Like when you when you look at Minlay, he's playing like against me, or he's playing against Bordnik, Jossman, whoever it may be. He doesn't have that fear. He's he's always he's always in it. Um. So so that's what I would say. I mean, it, it's it's very it's very uh it's very legit. Go. Let's just go H five and rookie eight here. So yeah. Yeah, like look at Min Lei. Min Lei's a great example. He's he's only an IM right now, even though he should be a GM. But he's not afraid of anyone, and he goes after. He he'll go after people. That's a, it's it's just it's 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 a very big difference. Let's play rookie eight here. I can take with the bishop next move. Uh, Greg Shahadi could become a GM. Greg Shahadi should have become a GM. I I don't know why he didn't become a GM. All the tools, all the tools in the toolbox, just like John Bartholomew, he should have become a GM. All the tools. All the tools in the box, but he, I mean, it just didn't happen for some reason. Go Bishop C4 and D3 here. Go Bishop B3 and take and play Knight E2 next move. Let's take, let's castle, play F4 here. Keep it going. I think to Ortiz G for the prime. Thank you so much. Thank you to GT Mitch for the eight months. Uh, let's just go here. Maybe C3, B4 next move. Looks pretty good. Okay, I guess I'll... Actually, takes was actually quite bad by me, but... For 93, D5, E5, or D4. I can also just take and play D4. Take the pawn, go C4. Uh, I'm going to play Rook D2, Rook F2, Rook A2, and hit the pawn on B6 here. I think it's la 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 for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Go Rook A2, hit the pawn on A7. Let's just sack the Rooks here. Should be fine. Take the Queen. Go here, hit the Knight. I'm going to go C4 next, which should be winning. Um, let's go check and mate. Just tell them all lol. Yeah, let's go d5 here. I think you did tie guy tokens for three months. Let's go bishop f5, e6 next to him, maybe knight d7. 
why is the age so important there cannot be exceptions oh there can definitely be exceptions but there but but it's just i i i don't know what it is exactly but it's just it's just it's just very hard it's just very it's very weird because there isn't like a concrete explanation i can give for that but it's just there there's isn't a concrete explanation i don't really know how to explain it because it's, it's just it's not even commitments because i mean there, there are plenty of people who are like 20 or something it's not it's not commitments even okay i'm gonna go f5 knight f6 back um i i don't even i don't even i don't even really think it's time it's just something about the age and i guess the way that your brain the way you think i i really don't know i really don't know um i'm gonna go queen f7 queen g6 maybe g4 at some point i can also just castle here go queen g6 idea g4 open up the king side here uh he actually just trapped his queen your mind gets full of other things oh maybe that actually might be legit your mind gets full of other things true definitely possible I think a night walker for the 11 when I give Nepo 5% I give Nepo much more than 5% I think Nepo is like 25 25 30 percent let's go e5 let's play d5 take the whole center over here okay um let's go f5 maybe not a great opening this game but it's playable yeah Feingold became a GM at 40. yeah but Feingold was like Feingold was a GM from the time he was about 20 years old his, his feed day rating was like 25 50 I think he just never got the norms but he was very strong he he had the, he he showed the uh he, he showed the, the class for a long long time let's go here okay let's just go here ba -da -da. Bottom. So go b5 and take with a knight. Go knight c3 next move. Um, yeah, let's go here. Let's take play knight d4. All very, all very good. Let's go here. go queen f7 hit the knight I guess I'll just take the knight here yeah I mean bet be, it depends what your peak is as well Ben's peak was really high I mean his, his peak feed it was like 25 50 like fine ben, ben was Ben was GM strength for many many years he just didn't get it um that's what that's what I would say um can play rook b2 here on bishop e2 next move all right, let's keep going. Next game. Go C5, maybe D6 here. Uh, will I return to the next edition of CSL? Very unlikely, I would say. Very, very unlikely. Let's play A6 and Knight 6. Ben is, uh, yeah. I mean, Ben, Ben, people, people, because he's he's so sarcastic and joking, they, they kind of forget that he was, I mean, he was a very, very strong GM. A very, very good player. But he, he was he was very very good very very good player taking go knight g4 here just collect the queen ben beat anon once yeah yeah he did yeah yeah people people pe people i think forget or they just don't know because i mean it was like to be fair ben ben at his peak i mean i remember when i was like 10 years old ben was ben was amazingly strong like he always had this very high uscf rating it was like 2600 maybe even a little over that i mean very very good player take and take I need a torn for the uh, 17 months. Thank you so much to torn. Appreciate it. Let's just take the pawn, move the rook back, play bishop a6. Uh, I didn't actually play Ben when I was young. I think Ben beat my stepfather in a tournament in Las Vegas, though, when I was maybe like 11 years old. I, I think when I was 11 years old, Ben played my stepfather in this like national open tournament. It was some tournament in Vegas, I think. I think it was December maybe uh that they played I was like 11 or 12 though so I do remember that game um let's keep going go e4 maybe knight c3 let's keep rolling knight c3 f4 okay I guess I'll play d4 just open up the board why not go d5 this will take with a pawn I don't know if it's the right capture but I'll do it anyway let's just go here now I get a quick check rookie one Quick attacks everywhere. I guess I'll just, I don't I don't need to take, but I'm gonna take anyway. 
see what he does. I guess check, I'll go back with G3. Let's go check. Blocks, okay, I guess I take. Make a check on the king with queen a4, maybe knight b5. Uh oh, rookie. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I think it was close a lot. Uh oh, queen c4 maybe was better. Yeah. Yep. Okay, pushing towards 1100. We're up about 500 points so far. Well, what is this guy doing? Kind of a very weird form of checkmate idea, I have to say, to put the bishop on a7 and the queen on b6. Very weird, a very weird form of checkmate idea. Uh, I'm a little bit confused by this idea. A little bit confused. Let's go here. It's a little bit too slow, kind of. Normally, the point of the form of checkmate is all about that speed. You need speed, you have to have that speed, that precision. Um, and that's definitely not happening when you when, when you um when you put the bishop on a7 here let's go check 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 and mate mate should i get elo quicker i'm gaining close to 10 points a game i'm trying i'm trying to run run it up as fast as i can or i didn't mean to go f6 but let's go here Do I think Anand is doing what Federer is doing and should just retire? I don't know what Vichy's plans are. It's actually kind of hard to judge. Um, thank you to Riz Rizwang for the prime. I mean, he's not playing the Grand Swiss, uh, but he is playing the German Bundesliga, so it's kind of hard to know what Vichy's plans are. I I mean, until Vichy... I would say Vichy has not really had outright awful tournaments. So until he starts having outright awful tournaments, I don't know why he, why he should retire. Um, I mean, if retire at all, frankly. Because like the thing is he 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 hasn't had great turns, but he's not having like a stinker. Like he's not he's not playing a tournament where he's losing to like twenty six hundreds. Like the equivalent of Federer is where like Federer is like losing to like I want to say like twenty five fifty. Let's just use that as an equivalent. Um, Gary Kasparov, yeah, Vichy did better than Kasparov actually. Um, but I was gonna say like you know Federer is losing to like the equivalent of like twenty five fifties or twenty six hundreds in tennis. Um, and Vichy's not doing that yet, so I, I don't see any real reason for Vichy to um, Vichy to to stop. I, I just I don't see any reason for him to. That, that's just what I would say. Yeah, I mean I, I don't see any reason. I mean my guess is that he's not going to try overly hard, perhaps, but um, but I, I I don't see any reason. Federer is twenty eight hundred. Yeah, of course he is. Yeah, no Federer is Federer is like twenty eight hundred. Vichy is low key the best of all time. I don't think you, you can say he's the best ever because there's someone called. Uh, um uh uh magnus or M magnus carlson um so i don't think you can say he's the best ever but i think he's probably he's probably top five easily i i would put him above gary at this point i would i've said i said it before but i, I would actually put vichy above gary in my all-time list i i would put i would put cagnus maltzen exactly um i would actually put i would put vichy ahead of uh ahead of gary at this point i mean he's been better for i mean he's been vichy's 51 he's i mean he keeps chugging along like Gary was world champion for 20 years. Yeah, but Vichy's been, what, top five? I mean, okay, right now he's not top five or something, but he's been, what, like, top five for top five into it, until, like, 2019 almost? I mean, like, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I honestly want to say, like, yeah, he, Gary's world champion for 20 years, but, I mean, Vichy's been competitive into his 50s. Like, that's that's no small feat. Let's go rookie five and trade. And yeah, Vichy's still top five in Blitz. I mean, again, all these ratings will change over time. Who knows? But yeah, I mean, I, I, I think, I mean, I think I actually do put him, put him above. Uh, I do put him above Gary at this point. Let's go here and C4. I should be winning. I'm up a pawn here, right? Yeah, I'm just up a pawn. So this must be winning. And I can actually create an outside pawn, maybe. Wait, this is... Oh, wait, no, I can just go A3. He can't get in. I go A3 and he can't get in. And now I just come over and eat the pawns. Go here, close the side. Now it's just over. I take, come back. Okay, we get the win. Let's keep going. Oh.